Good morning guys, welcome to Life with Lena and if you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So I got up a few hours ago already, I had my sweet potato bowl for breakfast, the mail just came, I've been watching vlog videos also, just catching up on some vlogs, Aspen and Parker, Ellie and Jared, KK and Baby J, just catching up, playing catch up a little bit. Um, also a package just came in, these are the wind filter thingies that are supposed to go on you guys for when I go to Iceland, and they're just supposed to prevent a lot of like wind noise, so I have to put them on, hopefully I will be doing it right, I don't know. And then I also have a whole bunch of tabloid magazines. Yes, guys, look at all of these tabloid magazines. I'm just gonna like briefly like flip through them, put them in order of like by day. I might as well catch up on a little bit of gossip, especially Angelina and Brad and like what's going on with them and the kids and everything. Hey, Miss Jakuva, say good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, friends. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you so much. So we're gonna get, oh, what, 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 you looking at me? You looking at me? You looking at them, huh? I will see you as soon as I fill my brain with some knowledge about tabloids and continue watching some vlogs. All right guys, still catching up on vlogs. I'm on my very last one, but it's 106 and I'm gonna make some lunch right now. I'm doing those tacos that I made like last week. Um, there's so much meat left over, like I don't know why my family decides that when I cook, it's just my food and they don't wanna like eat it. But when they cook, they expect me to eat all their food. Like, hello, you said it was good. Eat the freaking food and stop cooking your own. It makes no sense to me. I just heated up some chicken. I don't know if I heated it up long enough. I added in some salad. I have some sour cream, some cheese, no avocado because we ran out, and then um, some tortillas. So you guys know me and how I like mixing all of my foods together all the time and how I love everything in a bowl. And I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but I put all my chicken and everything in a bowl. I just showed you guys before. I mixed everything all together, and then I stuffed my tortilla. And for some reason, it just tastes so much better that way when everything is, like, mixed together and then stuffed in here. Like, I don't know. It tastes so much better than, like, having everything layered in here. Look how yummy that looks. Sorry, it's dripping gooey goodness right now. Oh, so good. Mmm. It tastes so much better this way. So it's 1.49 now. I still haven't taken Kuba out for a walk and I have to go to the post office as well. So we're just gonna change my bottoms to look more like actual pants than pajamas. And then we're just gonna throw a jacket over this and go take Kuba out for a walk and go to the post office and then possibly get a Starbucks or Panera Bread chai tea latte or something. I don't know, but I have like this headache. Oh, I also have to go to CVS because I lost my Blistex medicated lip balm. I don't know where it is. I wanted to put it on my lips yesterday and I, I lost it. So we need to purchase a new one and go to CVS. But as far as this cold sore goes, I don't know if it's an actual cold sore. It's right here on my lip, not like on the border or anything. So it's not a pimple. But like, I feel it underneath. It never came out, never blistered or anything. Um, so I don't know if it's an actual cold sore, but like, what else would it be? Like, I don't know what else it could be. Um, it felt like a cold sore underneath, but it never had like the little dots. It never blistered. So I don't really know what it is anymore. I've been taking precautions. I took the Valtrex. I've been putting on Zavirax on it and everything. Um, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is anymore. But I'm also about to take some Advil or ibuprofen or something um what do i have i don't know i have something let's see what do i have i have aspirin okay i thought i had ibuprofen at least oh wait i have something else i have aspirin and i have an empty bottle of advil that's good all right so aspirin it is all right gonna take two aspirin and hopefully my headache will go away soon. Also guys, this GoPro has been super challenging. Like I don't even know how to get the GoPro onto this thing. It has like this thing on the bottom, but I don't know how it fits into there. I've been trying and trying, I really don't know. I just, this GoPro has been, <laughs> has been something else. It is so difficult to like learn how to use. I couldn't even figure out how to get it out of the packaging. Now I can't figure out how to put it into like all these amounts and everything like that. It's just, it's so complicated. I don't know why it has to be so complicated. Got my packages and I also got my two tax things that I have to mail out. 
So now let's go run those errands. I gotta do, we'll probably stop by CVS first though cause that's closer on the way and on, on the same side of the street and everything. So we'll go to CVS. I'm looking to buy two of those medicated lip balms, one to keep in my car, one to have at home. And then in case I lose one, I'll always have the backup one, but I also wanna take it to Iceland with me because I don't wanna be getting a cold sore in Iceland. I'm gonna take Valtrex too with me just in case, but um, hopefully I won't need to use it. So this time they don't have the one in the circles. They have this one, it's buy one get one free. So I get two in here, I'll probably get this um, until I can find the other one again, which I still want, because when I have a cold sore that's easier to put on and more um, like clean and stuff. So I'll just get this for now, because I need something. Just kidding guys, not this one. I need the medicated lip balm, so I guess that's this one. It's a three balm value pack. OMG guys, I didn't know CVS carries e.l.f. now. So interested in trying this thing, it's like a cleansing water by L'Oreal. And it says it removes makeup, and then this one says it even removes waterproof makeup. Um, and it looks pretty good, so let me know if you guys have tried that. Alright guys, at the gas station, just pumped my car with gas. Um, I also decided I'm not going to get any Panera Bread coffee or any Starbucks coffee. I was looking at the toasted coconut cold brew from Starbucks. I've never tried it before and I was looking at their menu um, online on my app. And I was like, ooh, that sounds really yummy. But then I kind of just decided I'm either going to make coffee bubble tea when I get home or matcha bubble tea, one or the other. Um, and I think that'll be much tastier. You know what, guys? I really need to start locking my car when I'm inside. Sometimes I get really creeped out like when people walk by the car and you know it's just me in the car and I get really freaked out sometimes thinking that people are gonna like try to open the door and like knock me out or something I don't know this is what this world has come to and I fear my, for my life sometimes I really do um, and so I feel like I need to start locking my car I'm trying I'm gonna try to make that a habit like every time I get in the car to also lock my car door I will try to make that a habit um, I think that's a good habit to have. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys lock your car doors when you're driving. Um, but yeah, I just, I get really scared sometimes. I should have probably hardcore searched my bags before I went and bought a new Blistex. It's gotta be around here somewhere. I don't know where. I know I've been using my Louis bag a little bit. Oh my gosh, I have Andre's pen in here. What is that doing in here? Oh, I have a, what else do I have in here? A Kylie lipstick. Oh, a Makeup Forever and Andre's pen. Let's see what else I have in here. I have another pen, but that's my pen. Ah! <laughs> lip balm, medicated lip balm. Okay, well this one I think I'll take with me to Iceland. What a waste of money. I just went and bought another one. Um, okay, I think I'll take the this one with me to Iceland because in case my friends want to use it as well, it'll just be more sanitary that way. I have the other one in my bag that I opened and I have the two spare ones I just put aside so I don't use those so I'm not using three at once. This medicated lip balm I'm going to put on my bedside table because I've been using that or I've been wanting to use it. I just couldn't find it before or yesterday I couldn't find it. But okay, now we got it. So guys, I decided I'm go not going to make bubble tea. I'm just going to make a matcha green tea latte. Yes, baby, we're going to create our own matcha latte. I don't know how it's going to taste yet, but we are going to figure out some kind of recipe. There's tons of recipes online and I've tried some of them before and I just don't love them. So today we are about to make my own creation of a matcha latte recipe and if I love it, if I love it, that would also be a gr great video to make, I think, on my YouTube channel because why not? Why not? You know, guys? That is perfect. I'm gonna write down my recipe now. So, all right, so that's one recipe. The next time I'm also gonna try it with a different um, kind of ingredients and see which one I prefer. But for now, 
and this is yummy. So I thought one cup of almond milk would fill up my cup, but apparently it didn't. But I did use up the rest of my almond milk. There's nothing left in here. I think I still have one more in the fridge though, just not a big one like that. And hopefully it's not expired because I've been totally forgetting about it since it's all the way in the back of the fridge. So hopefully this is still good. Oh wait, this is coconut milk that's not even a <laughs> it's not even almond milk my bad but this is not even good anymore i was about to say i should have used coconut milk in my recipe since i was trying to get a coconutty flavor but look you could already see mold there oh it says it expired november 20th 2016 that's good um i don't remember buying coconut milk at all i think maybe my dad did Guys, I got a package in the mail. My Century 21 shoes finally came in. I don't know why it's been taking, why it took so long to actually get delivered. It's been like two weeks. I don't know why this package took so long. Remember when we ordered this, love? What? Remember when I ordered it? No, it's been a while. I know it's been a while. That's what I'm saying. It took so long to like arrive and for it to be like shipped out. And all of my shoes are not here. I ordered three pairs of shoes, and only two pairs of shoes came in. It was coming from New Jersey, so like it should have been here like ages ago. They're just so slow. So I ordered the brown Bear Paw look-alike UGG shoes. These are the brown ones that are on sale, so I thought I would just get myself a pair. I also ordered black ones, but those apparently are like on back order until they find a pair somewhere I don't know but then I did also order these black ones I think these are really cute and then you could like fold them up if you want to or you could fold them down I think they're just really cute and these are gonna replace my other snow ones that I had um, the other ones that had studs on them but yeah these are the other ones so here are my shoesies I could wear them either up like this or I could wear them down like this and then here are my UGG look-alike shoes. So I feel like I've done a whole load of nothing today. I caught up on vlogs, which I know I did something and I like catching up on vlogs. I enjoy it. I enjoy watching vlogs. Um, so like it was like more fun. And then I've been on Pinterest trying to find like a spinach soup recipe. Cause I, I don't know why I really want to make a spinach soup or like a pureed kind of spinach soup. Um, so I've been looking up recipes online and um what else what else what else um i don't know i just feel like i did nothing today i'm also waiting for fosters and switched at birth to be on in about half an hour until then i'm gonna edit my video and i'm also baking some chicken nuggets because i don't know i'm in like an eating mode but i don't know what i want so i literally just had fruit snacks and like a fruit stick thingy and now i'm making chicken nuggets and before that i had soup and then i had tacos earlier and then i had a sweet potato bowl for breakfast like i've just been eating i have found out or i have discovered that i tend to eat a whole lot more when i'm on my period like during that time of the month and it's day like two kind of like the beginning of my period and yeah all i do is eat now <laughs> But guys, this is great news. So my period was um, four days or three days late or something, which means I now canceled out my period during the cruise for next month, which is so awesome. And my period this month will end before I go to Iceland. So it's gonna be so good. I'm on day two, as you guys can see. It might go a little bit into Iceland with like the leftover like kind of spottingness after. Um, but for May now, I originally was scheduled to get my period on May 28th, which would have been during the cruise. And now I'm going to get it on a June 2nd, which is like the day before we get back. So that won't be bad at all. And then I still have the beginning of May that I'm going to have my period. So if that one is late, then that will push the beginning of June back. And then I won't have it during my cruise at all, which will be so great. But I'm so glad it got pushed back a whole lot by about four days. Um, I love this app. I just use like a regular free app. It's called Life and it has like that heart thing. It's the one in the middle right there. And yeah, so I just track um, my period on that and then I know like when I'm gonna get it and things. I normally get it every 28 days, but then here and there it's like two or three days late or whatever which is which is pretty normal so but i like to keep track of it so i know like an estimated time of when i'm gonna get it next 
My chicken nuggets are ready in here. I hear them sizzling and everything. Oh, they just, they're so good. I would really like to make my own next time, like just buy some chicken, grind it up in like a food processor. I don't know if I could do that in the new one that I have or not. It didn't say anything specific in the instructions, so I don't know. I'm sure raw meat is not something you're supposed to be using in a food processor, but people do it all the time, so maybe I could do it. And I would be so excited to have my own chicken nuggets instead of like frozen bought ones because you know they're not healthy you don't know what's going in them and frozen ones i could at least freeze i know how i made them what i did to them and they would just taste so amazing so i'm still watching switched at birth but i'm in the mood to make some cookie dough so we're gonna make some edible cookie dough right now while watching switched at birth and it's gonna be so good <laughs> So I made this cookie dough guys and the recipe said to use gluten free flour. So I did, I used coconut flour because I have a gluten free coconut flour and I don't know, it, it doesn't taste so good. Like cookie dough tastes normally, like it's not as I guess creamy, it tastes a little greeny from the flour and I like the coconutty flavor because the coconut flour but I don't know, like it tastes, ugh, I don't know, it tastes a little um grainy i think i'm just gonna trash it what a what a waste of a cookie dough and some chocolate chips and coconut flour and yeah all right guys i'm just gonna say goodnight to you already cookie dough was very disappointing but this guy has been sleeping on my bed all day today he's so cute he's been so sweet today so adorable Anyway guys, I'm going to say goodnight. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please subscribe down below if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog. Can we say goodnight? Can we say goodnight? Look at you cute little munchkin. Yeah. Say goodnight. I love you. Goodnight.